So guys, in today's Django video, I am telling you about the how to create a virtual environment. If you don't know how to create that in today's video, I whole thing I cover about that in the Mac, in the Linux, in the Windows. Okay, so get ready for that. And in the tomorrow video, I told you how to download the uh, Django. Okay, so get ready for that also. So now I did not take a long time and please subscribe my channel and all the notification bell so you never miss our upcoming future latest videos so now i do not take a long time so let's move to computer screen and let's do a coding laughing guys in today's django video i am telling about the create a virtual environment if you don't know what a virtual environment let me tell you and let me uh, tell you so now let's start virtual environment it is suggest to have a dedicated virtual environment for each Django project. And one way to manage a virtual environment is v, uh, when v, which is included in Python. Uh, when I open this link, so when v, here's one uh, introduction to all thing. If you are, if you don't know what is that, so you can and uh, read it from here. Okay. Now, the name of the virtual environment is your choice. In this tutorial, we will call it my word. Okay, means uh, this is one full form is virtual environment, but uh, in your choice, you will be called anything. But in this tutorial, we call it uh, call it the my world. Okay, the type of the following in the command prompt. Remember to navigate to where you want to create your project. Where you want to create your project. Okay, so like this is one for this is command for win for Windows like. Like pi minus m where, when my world, and then in the Unix or Macs, you, Mac, you can write like python slash m when you want my world. If I write this code on my command prompt, pi m my world, okay, you wrote like that. Sorry, here we can. When you enter press in here, so uh, okay, okay. So now let's come here. This will set up virtual environment and create a, a folder name my world, okay, with subfolders and files like this, like my world, alt include lib scripts pi when dot cfg. Then you can have to activate the environment by typing this command. This. Okay. But first of all, let me see what is type of like pep. Okay. Ensure.pp. Pi. Last. I am not using the Visual Studio Code. I am using the uh, Rapid. Okay. So I do not want to write that. If you are, if you are on Mac, uh, sorry, on Mac or or Linux, you wrote this type of command, then it will not give you the error and give you the output. I am on Windows, that's why I am writing the Mac Mac command. That's why it's not giving me the it, that's why it giving me the error. Like if you activate that, so you can wrote like that. Okay, then it will be activated. I do not make any file by the name of this type of code. That's why it's giving me the error. Now. Once the environment is activated, you will see this result in the command prompt. You will see the result in the this command prompt, like my word, this type of. Now, note that you must activate the virtual environment every time you open the command prompt to work on your project. This is just for example, I'm telling you, I have uh, in the next chapter, we finally learn how to install the Django. But in the today's video, I give you one example how to create a virtual environment. Okay. Uh, that's why uh, in today's video I told you about that. In the next video, finally we learn about how to create a uh, how to install a Django. And this very small video, okay? I know that because I in today's video I only told you how to uh, create a virtual environment. And if you don't know how to create a virtual environment, you can write like this type of uh, command like pi slash m my world, okay? That give you the output. And if you write here pip slash m. So what is pip in the next video I've already told you so I do not told you another time in the next video I've already told you what is pip and how to download the pip and how to download the Python also so I hope your concept will be clear and this series we are using the Raplet if you don't know what is a Raplet Raplet is the online and uh, online source code editor okay so in the uh, I'm 
I am just telling you how to download it, how to go, how to um, download it, how to make a virtual environment. Because if you, somebody is using the Visual Studio, because so for for so for Visual Studio Code people, so I am telling you about that. But I am using the Raplet, okay, in this series, okay. So now here you can see in today's video, I told you about the create uh, crea we create a virtual environment. That's why it's a very small video. So now I hope you can enjoy this class. If you enjoy, so please hit the like button, share your friends, and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to all the notification bell also so you can not miss our any future videos also so now i'm in the next class and next very amazing class like that type of videos and in the next video we finally learn how to install the django so i'm very excited are you so now i'm in the next class and next very amazing class so but today goodbye